It's your Monday motivational, Chad Lubin. We had a crazy end of the week last week. I'll go over the markets in a second. Uh, we have some great news on interest rates. And I wanted to talk about step five of the 10 realtor laws. Remember, these are the laws, the realtors in our coaching program uh, and my colleagues that are coaches. Um, though these are realtors that net a million dollars a year and have a million dollars in the bank. Uh, these are the rules that they follow. So uh, number five is giving great gifts. So we like cheesy gifts to uh, past clients, to anyone that's referred you business before. Think key change, think hats, think uh, wine openers, think cell phone chargers uh, for, for your phones with your, um, either with or without your branding on it. Uh, sphere of influence, birthday present. So anyone, I, I really do a three-part um, gifting for my birthdays. I have a level, that means they've done multiple deals with me uh, and referred me multiple deals. Um, that's a $100 birthday gift. Uh, Bs are um, at least one deal and at least one referral. So I've got um, two deals from them somehow. Uh, third is they've either referred me a closed deal or they've done a deal with me themselves. That's the C-level, that's $25. So A uh, is multiple referred closed deals, multiple closed deals personally. That's a $100 birthday gift. Bs are uh, at least one closed and one referred. That's a $50 gift. And Cs are um, at least one closed or at least one referred closed deal. Uh, make sure you have great click closing gifts. We like personalized gifts from their All About You forms. If you need an example of an All About You form, you can email us uh, or give me a call for it. And we like um, pizza on move-in days. So those are great closing gifts. And make sure you gift on the milestones. Think job promotions, think weddings, think birthdays. I think that's super important. Now to the, if you've been following my market updates on Wednesday, you'll know that there's been some craziness within the jobs numbers. Uh, you likely heard me call out our government of uh, putting in estimators that didn't exist. Uh, well, we got some of that relief back today. And unfortunately, we've got to this place where we want bad jobs numbers because then the Fed will stop with their raising of the prime rate. Um, they're starting to see, they're starting to cause cracks in our financial system from their rapid interest rate increasing. I'll uh, touch on that in a second. But we did receive a big rally today. We're uh, down about three eighths of a percent in interest rates. Uh, so we've been locking high sixes, lower sevens. Um, that's mid sixes right now to uh, even lower sixes on some people with 800 credit scores, 30% down. Um, the big thing to notice, here's the crack in the jobs report. Um, and no one looks at this data, but there's a duration of unemployment, right? Uh, less than five weeks. That means new people to unemployment. That's 343,000 people, right? So there's a lot of people um, that are at uh, one week to five weeks unemployed, there's a massive amount. So that means there's more layoffs and there's more people starting to collect unemployment than initially thought. Um, the You're probably hearing it in the news, um, the banking systems are starting to crack. So let me explain why. And this is really bad for our economy. And as um, you've heard me talk about for really two years, they kept uh, the low interest rate environment, which they artificially created by buying mortgage bonds way too long through 2020 and 2021. They should have shut that down. The housing market was strong without those artificially low rates, just like it is right now with the high rates. We're still seeing very stable home prices, even at high rates. Um, so they're now doing the opposite. So they left the spigot on too long uh, and the water overflowed and there's too much money in our, our, uh, in our economy. And now they're pulling it all away too quickly. So what's happening is um, banks take in depositor customer um, deposits, right? They have to pay an interest rate back to the depositor, right? Um, and then they invest in longer term investments with that money to get a higher margin because longer term investments typically pay more than short term investments. 
but there is an inversion on the yield curve. And this is a big problem because of that run up in rates, short term uh, investments are paying way more and these banks have to pay their depositors way more, but they have the investments all in long-term investments. Think long-term treasury bonds, think uh, adjustable rate mortgages, think mortgage-backed securities, 20, 30-year notes, and they're not paying anything right now, not paying a return. Uh, these short terms are, so they have to pay out a lot and they're not bringing in as much. So this is a big problem for solvency. We're hoping we don't see um, a run on banks, but this is a big problem. And hopefully they get the message, listen, this Fed is so inexperienced. Uh, they None of them have real world business besides uh, real world business experience besides two of them. And they were at both at Enron. Uh, if you know about Enron, that was... Uh, one of the biggest scandals of our country's histories of a business. Um, they are just go taking these, these rate increases too long, too fast, um, and hopefully they get the message and understand that these things take a while. These moves take a while. Um, it would be like having a patient and the doctor keeps giving them medicine, giving them medicine, giving them medicine every two minutes because it's not working. And then they've had too much medicine and they've OD'd. Um, that is what this is like. They have to be patient and let their already aggressive moves work out through the system. Uh, their moves from last March take six to nine months to, to start to work. So they've just moved too fast. Hopefully they stop. Um, we're hoping that they reverse uh, a little bit, but this is where we're at. So what's it mean for interest rates? As far as mortgage rates, it's good. As far as your stock portfolio, it's not good. Um, keep tuning in here. We advise almost 15 clients not to lock their high interest rates in. Last week, we'll be locking in today from this rally. This is the level of expertise you get with us. If you want it for your clients, uh, give me a call, 704 495 1869 704 495 1869